Hello, you're listening to Heart and Soul Podcast, a Christian podcast powered by 88.1 The Berg. This is Heart and Soul's 15th podcast, and today we will be diving into our identity with Christ. As always, before I begin my podcast, I am going to open with a prayer. Lord, I pray that you would unlock my heart, that I might fully be alive to my true identity in you. Give me clear revelation to see myself the way that you see me. Help me to stand in your truth against all enemy attacks and guard my heart with all vigilance. Help me to identify the lies and reveal to me any places where I am chained to the past in a negative way. Teach me to hear your voice and not believe the enemy's destructive lies about who I am. I thank you for my uniqueness and that I am made in your image. I thank you that I can hope in the future and believe in the good destiny that you have for me. You have visions of my future. Help me live a fruitful life now and overflow with your love to others. Give me greater authority in prayer life. I want to know you on a deeper level, and I don't want anything to hinder my relationship with you. Help me to live in accordance with you and show others that you are a part of my identity. Amen. Living in identity of Christ is an important aspect of our life. We are created in Christ and are surrounded by him. Every day we should live our life showing others how he is a part of us and who we are. Essentially, he should be a part of our identity. In order to understand our identity with Christ, though, we should know what identity is. Identity is defined as the collective aspects of the set of characteristics by which a thing is definitively recognized or known. So our identity in Christ should be recognized both in ourselves and in others. If we are in Christ, then it should be evident just by the way we live our life and the way we carry ourselves every day. A further definition of identity is the quality or condition of being the same as something else. So in this case, our identity in Christ means that our lives should indicate that we are the same as Christ, that we are one with him. The name Christians literally means followers of Christ. Now when we look at our own identity, it is something that is one of the most important things to us. Knowing who we are, what makes us tick, what makes us laugh, what gets us mad, what brings us happiness, what makes us sad. Things that essentially make up who we are and what affects our everyday lives. Our personal identity affects how we look at life, the way we see the world, how we deal with conflicts, and even how we pick our friends. And you see, if I were to ask you, who are you? You would respond with your name, your age, your grade, your major, your career choice, your hobbies, maybe where you grew up, and some of your interests. And all of these external things help make up who you are, but they aren't permanent. Because if I asked you who you were today, the answer would be different 10 years later. But the one thing that is constant and should be constant is that we are with Christ and that he is a part of our identity always. He should be part of the identity that we tell and we show others when we are displaying who we are to the rest of the world. Christ is one thing that will always be a part of our identity. But when people ask you who you are, do you show them or tell them that part of your identity? Do you tell them that you're a Christian? Many times when we are seeking our own identity, we find ourselves holding on to something in fear of losing it. We grip onto something tangible, something we can hold on to, because we are afraid if we lose this part of ourselves, we will lose part of our identity. But oftentimes when we do this, when we're clinging onto something so hard in fear of losing our identity with Christ, when we are holding onto something because we are afraid of losing it or losing its part of our identity, it's because we strayed away from finding our identity with Christ. 
We begin to hold on to hobbies, career choices, interests, and we cling to them, trying to not lose them because we're afraid if we do, we've lost who we are. But in truth, we've never lost who we are because we are one with Christ. Because sometimes in God's grace, he allows the very thing we fear to lose the most to be taken away. So that we can reveal that we have our identity in something bigger. We have our identity with Christ. And as we grow to understand our own true identity more, we can see that it is with him. And that we are one with Christ. And this is because when we live life with an identity of Christ, we no longer chase after the desires of our own selfish ways and reasons. Instead, we seek to bring God's glory in all areas of life. As it says in the Bible, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes, and pride and possession is not from the Father, but it is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 through 17. And what this is saying, what this particular Bible verse is saying, is that we shouldn't find our identity in the world around us, in tangible things and things we can see or our worldly possessions. And instead, we should find it with Christ because he provides everything for us and he is there for us and guiding us along the way because he is love and he is always there. But these other things we seek to find our identity in are passing by and won't be with us forever. Because if we are not seeking to find our identity in Christ, then we are seeking it in something else. And when we seek and find our identity with Christ, we won't be crushed by our failures and our weaknesses. Instead, Christ helps bring us hope and light to the world around us. And when we have an identity with Christ, we no longer have to fear the future. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. If we have peace with God, then we have nothing to fear. We do not need to worry about the future. We don't need to worry about college exams, getting or losing a job, getting sick, or getting looked down upon for our beliefs. Now, of course, these things aren't easy or painless, but we have confidence that our Heavenly Father is with us every moment of the day and will be there for us in every moment. He gave us His Son, Jesus, so that we could claim our identity in the righteousness of Christ. And we can trust and know that He will provide everything that we need in this world. Our identity in Christ has given us direct access to our Heavenly Father, who can call on us with confidence and complete trust. Because we can live our identity with Christ, by showing others who Christ is, and just by letting Him live through us every day, wearing our faith on our sleeve. By showing others our faith and that it is part of our identity, we are not only showing that our faith is important to us, but we are showing God that He is important to us as well. We also begin to understand our identity even more because we become even more connected and close with Christ. And when we really understand our identity in Christ, who we are in Him, it changes the way we think and live. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And what this is saying is when we have our identity in Christ and we are with him, that we become new again. That we are living a new life, glorified and with God. Because in our identity, the most important thing we should hold on to is Christ. Because in the end, when we leave this world, that's all we will have. We won't have any of the possessions that we have when we die. We won't carry on our eye color, our traits, the way we look, our hobbies, but we will carry on our relationship with God. And if it is the one thing we are going to take with us, then it should be the most important to us. 
because before Christ we were destined for despair, degradation, and poverty. But in Christ we are destined to have life and have it more abundantly. John chapter 10, verse 10. And so every day we should live our identity with Christ and show others that our identity is with him. Because in Christ is where our identity should be. So how do you live your identity with Christ? Let me know on my Facebook page called Heart and Soul at 88.1 Leberg. I hope you all have a good day and a blessed week. Good luck. Godspeed. It never hurts to pray.